Hey everyone, Dr. Shook here. You know, as I um, as I started, as I turned this on, and I looked at the at the camera and the screen, and I realized here I am, here I am wrapped in a in a bl <laughs> in a blanket, talking to you guys about thyroid issues, and I really don't care. Um, this is just I decided I decided when I started when I started um, recording these videos that I'm just going to be me, and I don't really care. I'm not going to be. You might see me wearing a suit and a tie, and uh, and. Uh, you know teaching in a different um, from a you know looking more professional but at the same time I don't really I don't really care um, this is not about looks this is about content and trying to help you guys better understand your health and I don't care how I look um, I just but I think it's kind of comical I look at this and I was like I never envisioned myself doing this but um, I hope this helps you guys so now what I want to talk about today was something that is going to, I think, um, possibly upset some of you. Uh, and this is this was this was really kind of mind blowing whenever I uh, came across this. But I actually, um, I learned about this connection between Hashimoto's and Botox. Uh, this this potential relationship uh, between um, see Botox is is a is a neurotoxin. It's colostridium. Um, botulinum toxin and so I, what I did was there's actually a research paper that I came across um, I learned about this from um, um, an immunologist phenomenal phenomenal person his name's Aristo Vojadani he's a uh, he's a uh, the chief scientific advisor at Cyrex labs and uh, he is a fantastic guy and I learned about this from him but he there's a, a paper that that he brought to my attention I was watching him uh, I can't remember what it was, but I, he was talking about how, now he's an immunologist, so he studies the immune system, and he knows a lot about um, autoimmunity and um, potential um, uh, infectious agents that can trigger an immune response. So he pointed out this paper, I think, that was just amazing. So listen to the title of this paper, okay? It's a research paper, it's on PubMed. If you go to PubMed, P-U-B-M-E-D.gov, you can find it. But it's uh, injections of colostridium botulinum neurotoxin A may cause thyroid complications in predisposed persons based on molecular mimicry and thyroid autoantigens. Okay, it's a mouthful, right? Basically, here's what happens. The colostridium botulinum neurotoxin, this Botox, has a molecular structure. If you look at it under a microscope, uh, similar to that of the thyroid or the thyroid cells, and what what can end up happening is that the immune system may react to the Botox, and when it reacts to the Botox, it may your your thyroid may be attacked and destroyed as a collateral damage, as a mistaken identity, because of this of this concept called molecular mimicry. The molecules of the Botox look a lot like your thyroid cells, and so your immune system may attack them both, thinking they're the same thing. Okay, so listen: if you have Hashimoto's, Botox may be a real problem for you. And if you need this, um, if you need this paper, you can look it up. It's, uh, I think, it's free full text, but it says basically clinical. Data suggests a possible pathogenic link between Botox and autoimmune thyroid disease. That's amazing. Um, they say that uh, considering, this is important, considering the wide and increasing medical and dermocosmetic use of Botox, right, because it's used a lot to, for wrinkles and, uh, and applications for headaches and all kinds of things, uh, and frequently subclinical course of autoimmune thyroid disease we think that thyroid complications may pass frequently undetected in botox treated persons so maybe you get botox and you don't even realize that um, it's creating the it's creating problems with your thyroid and that it's it, the association may not be significant enough that you put them together and your doctors if they're not familiar with this wouldn't wouldn't be familiar with that either so listen if you get botox you're interested in botox be extremely careful because this concept of molecular mimicry can cause you uh, to potentially attack your thyroid when you get a Botox injection. And it's the same thing that um, that happens when you get exposed to food, partially uh, digested food proteins or food peptides. 
that look similar to your thyroid. Your, your body attacks the, the, the food protein and it attacks your thyroid tissue and the same concept because they look similar on a molecular level, okay? So infections do this, um, uh, food proteins can do this, environmental chemicals can do this. So this is a really, I think this is an important paper I wanted to share with you guys that I thought was, um, was uh, very interesting to me. So I hope this helps you guys out and uh, I hope this, these videos and educational um, segments that we do uh, really helps improve your quality of life. If you guys need anything, let us know. We're here to help you out. Post some comments below if you have any questions and, uh, and we'll get back to you as soon as we can. Thanks.